We have one year for use by the Water Sewage Department. Council Member Konovich. Call all fast for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Roussel. Any questions? Yeah, just let the record reflect that um, the recreation equipment uniforms is coming directly out of the general fund. Because the millage failed. Yes, sir. <laughs> Any other questions? Administration, audience, machines open. Verbal yes. Ms. Newberry. Passes 9-0. Item 6, beer and liquor licenses. If you have any Q in, Dr. Gooey. L Chase self serve. Um, 106 morning, um, uh, 9654 Highway 23, Bell Chase. Maria's Restaurant, 8475 Highway 23, Bell Chase. Sea Train Tavern, 9080 Highway 23, Bell Chase. Pepper on 23, 9052 Highway 23, Bell Chase. El Paso Mexican Grill, 8617 Highway 23, Bell Chase. Circle K, 9144 Highway 23, Bell Chase. Blue Angel, 9670 Highway 23, Bell Chase. That's all I have. Ms. Newberry? I have two. Um... Penny Gas Station at 12753 Highway 23 in Bell Chase. And Captain Larry's at 11334 Highway 23 in Bell Chase. Mr. Alborough. New Orleans Original Daiquiris, 8102 Highway 23. Belestra's Food Center, 7902 Highway 23. Cody B's The Market. 8134 Highway 23, Town View Cafe, 7918 Highway 23, Bell Chase Fuel Mart, 8180 Bell Chase Highway. Mr. Blink. Sure, I have several. <clears throat> I have two for the Delta Marina, one in Suite A, one in Suite B. One for Express Food and Fuel, which is at uh, 14715 Highway 23. I have two for Gilbo's, which is at 28564 Highway 23. And one for Watutsi Rib and Ale, which is at 33115 Highway 11. Mr. Bartholomew? I have two. Uh, I have here. Blue, Blue Room. At uh, location is, uh, what is it? 12945 Highway 15 in Phoenix, Louisiana. The other one is K L Enterprise LLC, the ferry stop. Address is 3762 Highway 39, Breakthway, Louisiana. Mr. Black? Yeah, Rotolos. 102 Woodland Highway, Suite 5 in Bell Chase. Toast Event Room, 7427 Highway 23 in Bell Chase. Mr. Roussel? Yes, I have some. Owner name is NNL LLC, doing business as the Bell Chase Exxon. is a Class B liquor license renewal at 10830 Highway 23 in Bell Chase. Uh, ASVG and Associates, doing business as Dave's Beverage at 7690 Highway 23, Class B liquor license renewal. I have Halep. Pinos, uh, Villa Nueva LLC was the owner at uh, 7670 Highway Suite 20, Highway 23 Suite A. It's a liquor class A renewal and have Salvos LLC doing business at Salvo Seafood at 7742 Highway 23 Class A10 renewal liquor license. I have the Phyllis Sack of Jesuit Ben 113 Lions Club Lane, Bootville, Venice. 
Josh's with Marina, P.O. Box 773, Buras, Louisiana. Hearts, Cypress, Boa, 42815, Highway 23, Venice. Hop Morris Hart, 415, Venice, Louisiana. Deep Delta Houseboats, 237, Sports Marina Road, Venice. Hong Kim Investments, 111 Crane Drive, Buras. Changes Restaurant, Highway 23, Venice. The Den, 42805, Highway 23, Venice. Deep Delta Houseboats, 237 Sports Marina Road. Elsie Marine, Highway 23, Venice. And Happy Land, 35949, Highway 11, Buras. With that, I'll offer, ask for a second. I have some. Oh, sorry. I have a uh, B and H Beverage, 114 Azalea Drive. AK and A LLC, 27910 Highway 23. Myrtle Grove Marina, 161 Marina Road. Raymond's Incorporated, 26277 Highway 23. Of Lewis Thompson, 135 Camellia Drive. And I have John Bartholomew, favorite one. The G Spot, 113 Adema Lane, full supper. What black cook is over? I'll off ask for a second. Second, second by Mr. Roussel. Any questions? Machines are open. Yes. And they pass nine zero. Item seven building permits, seven A construction permits. 71 Vertex Refining Myrtle Grove LLC application number 2021 815 dated November 3rd, 2021. Installed two pilings to permanently moor a barge on Hero Canal at 155 Walker Road, Bell Chase. After the fact application, Council Member Roussel. Mr. Roussel, you offer? Mr. <coughs> Roussel offers there a second. Second by Ms. Newberry. Any questions? Machines open? Yes. It passes seven with one abstention. <coughs> At eight with one abstention. Item 782, Whitney Oil and Gas LLC, application number 2021-848, dated November 19th, 2021, wheel wash, install pile clusters, drill well location E, and install well protection structure and two four-inch flow lines, Garden Island Bay Field, Council Member Bartholomew. Can you go with three and five with that too? Yeah. 783. Whitney Oil and Gas LLC, application number 2021-849, dated November 19th, 2021. Prop wash, install pile clusters, drill the SL214 well number 886, offset and install well head protector and two four-inch flow lines, Garden Bay Field, Council Member Bartholomew. Five. Five. Seven, eight, five. 
Helis Oil and Gas Company, LLC, application number 2021-725, dated September 15, 2021, install pile clusters, drill the SL-195 QQ well number 54, and install wellhead protector, two-inch flow lines, Black Bay Field, Council Member Bartholomew. Bartholomew, Mr. Bartholomew, off, is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Blink, any questions? Machine's open. Yes. Mr. Black. Not vote. You know, have to stand. I'm trying to tell you don't worry. It passes six with two abstentions. Item 7 4. Keith Door application number 2021-857 dated November 23rd, 2021. Install boat slip, boat house, and walkway. 694 Martin Lane, Happy Jack, Council Member LaFrance. Can you do all the rest with it? Yes. Item 7B. Wholesale fireworks, Kirk Cavalier, fireworks stand renewal for 2022. 7914 Highway 23, Bell Chase, Louisiana, Council Member Roussel. 7C. PM Fireworks, Paul Tozen, Fireworks Stand Renewal for 2022, 420 Harvey Boulevard, Bell Chase, Louisiana, Councilmember Roussel. 7D, Lot Boys 2, Logan Lot, Fireworks Stand Renewal for 2022, 1454 Woodland Highway, Bell Chase, Louisiana, Councilmember Black. 7E, Keith Door, New Camp in a Flood Plain Zoning District, 694 Martin Lane, Port Sulphur, Louisiana, Councilmember LaFrance. 7F, Burris RV Park, 31432, Highway 11, LLC. Final approval for 2022 new owner of existing RV Park for 13 spaces. 35948, Highway 11, Burris, Louisiana. Council Member Konovich. I'll all for a second. A second. Second by Mr. Blink. Any questions? Machines open. <coughs> yes. And pass 9-0. Item 8, Introductions of Ordinances and Resolutions. I have a few. The first couple are for Councilmember Konovich. An ordinance to amend the 2022 Road Maintenance Fund Operating <coughs> Expenditure Budget, Road Maintenance Public Right-of-Way Department, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. An ordinance to authorizing and directing the parish president to do all things necessary to accept the donation of Coast Guard Road, Venice, Louisiana, from its beginning at Tidewater Road to its terminus, the boundaries of which are more particularly identified in Exhibit A, attached hereto, as a public road and utility servitude, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. In order to amend the 2022 General Fund and Road Maintenance Fund, Revenue and Operating Expenditure Budgets, Engineering and Public Works Department, and Road Maintenance Public Right-of-Way Department, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. The next is for Councilmember Bartholomew. In order to amend the five-year capital improvements plan, Water Line Canal Crossing, P. Point of Lahash Project, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. The next is for Councilmember Bartholomew as well. A resolution authorizing and directing the parish president or his designee to do all things necessary and proper, either lease or sell Port Eads and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. The next is for Councilmember Black. An ordinance approving a plan of resubdivision of Douglas Lan Lanasa Jr., Timothy and Eve Vigny's property, section 30 and 72, T14S, R23E, Southern District of Louisiana, west of the Mississippi River, Bell Chase, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, into lots A1, DL1, and DL2, Douglas and Nasa Jr., Timothy and Eve Vignes property, section 30 and 72, T14S, R23E, Southern, Southeastern District of Louisiana, west of the Mississippi River, Bell Chase, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, as shown on the map, shown on the plan and plat of survey by Dufresne Survey and Engineering Inc. dated March 17, 2020, revised November 5, 2021. The owner having fulfilled all the requirements of the subdivision and resubdivision ordinance of the Plaque Parish of Plaquemines without cost of Plaquemines Parish Government or the Parish of Plaquemines and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. The next is for Councilmember Black as well. In order to amend an 
and amended to readopt section four of ordinance number 142, the comprehensive zoning ordinance of Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, as amended, and the comprehensive zoning district map therein adopt, adopted by reference and which is paraffed thereto with reference to application number 2020-442 dated June 30th, 2020. One more for Councilmember Black. An ordinance approving a plan of resubdivision of a portion of Tract 5-E, Bell Chase Plantation, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, as shown on a plat of survey of Cypress Park Subdivision, Phase 2A by Bryant Hammond and Associates, certified by Hugh McCurdy III, PLS, dated November 17, 2021, the owner having fulfilled all the requirements of the subdivision and resubdivision ordinance of the parish of Plaquemines without cost to the Plaquemines Parish government or the parish of Plaquemines and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. This is for council member Roussel, a resolution granting conditional approval for a plan of subdivision of lots six and seven Cedar Grove plantation section four T one five S R two four E Southeastern District of Louisiana, west of the Mississippi River, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, until lot 6A, 6B, 15A, 7A, and 7B, Cedar Grove Plantation, Section 4, T15S, R24E, Southeastern District of Louisiana, west of the Mississippi River, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, by Dufresne, Dufresne Surveying and Engineering, Inc., dated August 21st, 2021, without cost of Plaquemines Parish government or the parish of Plaquemines, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. And the last is for Councilmember LaFrance. In ordinance to amend Section 12, Amendments and Petitions of Ordinance Number 142, the Comprehensive Zoning Ordinance to authorize the Plaquemines Parish Council to establish rules, regulations, procedures, and requirements for the issuance of Temporary permits for the placement of operations of RV parks, RV sites, campgrounds, and other temporary housing units or facilities in any zoning district and temporarily suspend any and all map changes. Rezone petition requirements related thereto and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. And that is it. Item 9A1. An ordinance approving a plan of resubdivision of the property of tract S-1-C-2, Julius G. Foster Petition, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, as shown on a map of resubdivision, tract S-1-C-2, Julius G. Foster Petition into tracts S-2-A, S-2-B, S-2-C, and S-2-D, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, by John E. Bono and Associates, Inc., a low company, Dated October 22nd, 2020, revised October 25th, 2021, the owner having fulfilled all the requirements of the subdivision and resubdivision ordinance of the Parish of Plaquemines without cost to the Plaquemines Parish government or the Parish of Plaquemines and otherwise to revive with respect thereto. Council Member Blank. I'd like to offer. Mr. Blank offers there a second. I'll second. Yeah, I'm We have offering. to offer a substitute for this. Um, this is a substitution with the body. <laughs> and it's 7A1, an ordinance approving a plan of resubdivision of the property of tract S1C2, Julius G. Foster Partition, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, as shown on a map of resubdivision, tract S1C2, Julius G. Foster Partition into tracts S2A, <laughs> S2B, S2C, and S2D, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, by John E. Bono and Associates, Inc., a low company dated October 22nd, 2020, revised October 25th, 2021. The owner having fulfilled all the requirements of the subdivision and resubdivision ordinance of the Parish of Plaquemines without cost to the Plaquemines Parish government or the Parish of Plaquemines and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Councilman Blank. Mr. Blank, you offer with the changes? Yes. I'll second. Any questions? <laughs> Administration, audience, machines open. Yes. Passes 9-0. Item 9 an ordinance granting final approval for a plan of subdivision of Charles Ballet map of resubdivision of lots 11-220 into lots 11A through 19A square 50 Bell Chase Town Site, Bell Chase, Louisiana, as shown on a map of resubdivision by Bryant Hammond and Associates, certified by Hugh McCurdy III, PLS, dated November 11, 2021, without cost to Plaquemines Parish Government or the Parish of Plaquemines. Councilmember Gooey. 
and we're offering that with substitution as well. Yeah, I'll but, substitute. Dr. Gooey offers with the substitution. I'll second. You may want to read that because the language is a little bit. Yes. An ordinance approving a plan of resubdivision of the property of the River Chase Properties, <laughs> LLC, Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, as shown on the map of resubdivision, lots 11 through 20 into lots 11A through 19A, square 50, Bell Chase Town Site, by Bryant Hammond & Associates, certified by Hugh McCurdy III, PLS, dated May 5, 2021, amended November 11, 2021, the owners having fulfilled all the requirements of the subdivision and resubdivision ordinance of the parish of Plaquemines without cost to the Plaquemines parish government or the parish of Plaquemines and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Offer. Dr. Gooey offers a second. second. Second by Mr. Albro. Any questions? Administration, audience, machines open. Yes. <laughs> it passes 9-0. Item 9B, in order to amend the 2021 operating revenue and expenditure budgets, various funds, various departments, various line items, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Councilmember Konovich. I'll offer and ask for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Albro. Any questions? Um, this is offered with changes. All right. An ordinance to amend the 2021 operating revenue expenditure budget, various funds, various departments, various line items, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Um, council member, would you like me to read all of this? No, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll offer with those changes and ask for a second. Second by Mr. Holborough. There's about three pages of changes, so. And we do any, have copies for the public. Any questions, administration? audience yeah if, if um administration wants to elaborate these are just year-end changes where we go through and we move money around to cover budgets um but the majority of this is just cleaning up if we have a salaries reduction benefit code <laughs> for budgeting purposes and at the end of the year we just eliminate that we do that when we have the layoffs because it it's just easier to budget that way um, and now we're just cleaning up our codes, basically. <coughs> and there are some uh, rev revenue adjustments at the end, besides all those. Mr. Bartholomew? Yes, did they, uh, you had a removal of the recreational funds for the David recreational program? What did he say? The recreational program, summer recreation program, has that been deferred, removed? No, that, um, this is a 2021 ordinance. All right. Any other questions? <coughs> Machines open. For next year. Yes. It passes nine zero. Item nine C. I'm gonna I'm gonna defer that one, but I've handed out the bits, <coughs> the quotes I got on the equipment for this. Item 90, in order to amend the 2021 five-year capital improvements plan, various projects, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Council Member Conovich. I'll all fast for a second. Second by Mr. Oldborough. This also is offered with changes. In order to amend the 2021 five-year capital improvements plan, various projects, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. You don't have to read the changes. Okay. I'll all fast for a second. Second by Mr. Orbo. Any questions? Administration, audience? I have a question. Ms. Newberry? Is this um, a heavy equipment recommendation of the administration on the needed? This is, that was deferred. We on the next item. Oh, which one? Oh, okay. I was e. looking on the screen ahead to see. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Machines open? Yes. Passes 9-0. Got the furthest one and same thing. I gave you all a quote I had received. Defer F as well. Can we go to 
P. Item 9P, in ordinance to amend the 2022 operating revenue and expenditure budgets, various funds, various departments, various line items, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Council Member Berkanovich. I'll all fast for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Roussel. This is also offered with changes. <coughs> Would you like me to read that one as well? Yes. Um, line, line one, um, include after 2022 manpower structure and after the first whereas, whereas after a review of the engineering and public works department and the road maintenance public right of way department, amendments to the manpower structure are necessary. Under section one, line 13, after operating expenditures, they added ad revenue and revenue. Line 14 is 001 General Fund. Line 15, 730-4360 Engineering Public Works, 510.005 Salaries and Wages Regular, increased by 32,860. No, not all. That one's a long list, too? Yes. Yeah. I'll offer with those changes in a second. Second. Second by Mr. Roussel. Any questions? Administration, audience, Mr. Black. Get a Fort Jackson Park. Who does that report to, Todd? <coughs> Prawn. It's going to brought the bread? Yeah. All right. I just don't want them on the recreation. No, they're going to Prawn. Uh, we forgot to move them. In the, in the budget hearings. Any other questions? Machines open? Yes. Passes 9 0. Would you like to go back to 9G? Yes. 9G, in order to prohibit all marine vessels from operating on and over all public highway and utility right-of-ways during a declared state of emergency, establishing, establishing fines and penalties for violation thereof, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Council Member Conovich. I'll all fast for a second. Second. Second by Mr. LaFrance. I did this because of the problems we had with the water, uh, fire hydrants and all. So, any questions? around administration audience machines open yes <coughs> passes nine zero nine H is withdrawn nine I a resolution providing for canvassing the returns and declaring the results of a special election held in the parish of Plaquemines, state of Louisiana on Saturday November 13th 2021 to authorize the levy of a special tax therein. Councilmember Conovich. I'll all fast for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Blink. Any questions? This one is offered with with a substitute. Yeah. Is it a long one? Yes. It's basically just putting the vote in from the election and saying that it was denied. I mean, yep. not denied. Is it, it. is it possible to do J&K and Globo too, since it's all the same? Um. It's the millage canvases. Can we do them in Globo? Can we vote on all of them? At uh, I would do them individually just to be on the safe side. Any questions? Administration? Audience? Machines open? Yes. Passes 9 to 0. Nine J, a resolution providing for canvassing the returns and declaring the results of the special election held on the parish, held in the parish of Plaquem in state of Louisiana on Saturday, November thirteenth, twenty twenty one, to authorize the levy of a special tax therein. Council Member Conovich. I'll all fast for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Blink. Same thing. The 
Yeah. Uh, put the numbers in that it was defeated. Correct. Yeah, correct. Machines open. <laughs> yes. Uh, item 9k a resolution providing for canvassing the returns and declaring the results of the special election held in the parish of plaquemine state of louisiana louisiana on saturday november 13th 2021 to authorize the levy of a special tax therein council member konovich i'll all fast for a second 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 by mr blink same thing with this one yes. showed it was defeated correct any questions machines are open yes Councilmember Newberry. Ms. Newberry. Thank you. Passes 9 0. Item 9 0. An ordinance authorizing and directing the parish president to enter into cooperative endeavor agreement between the Plaquemines Parish Port Harbor and Terminal District and Plaquemines Parish Government for the transfer of certain rights, obligations, liabilities, and assets related to ferry services, transferring the employees in the pa Plaquemines Parish Government Ferry Department to the Plaquemines Parish Port Harbor and Terminal District, all in accordance with the civil service rules and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Council Member Bartholomew. Offer. Mr. Bartholomew offers there a second. Second. Second by Mr. Blink. Any questions? Machines open. Yes. <clears throat> Councilmember Gooey. Thank you. Passes 9-0. Item 9M, a resolution to reject industrial tax exemption application number 2021-0013-ITE for applicant C&C Marine and Repair LLC for participation in the industrial tax exemption program related to their expansion project in Plaquemines Parish. Council Member Roussel. Offers filed. Mr. Roussel offers there a second. Second. Second by Mr. LaFrance. This is also a fill in the blank. Yes, ma'am. On line 10, the opportunity for an 80% reduction of ad valorem taxes on their construction of a new fabrication paint bay project. That is it. Mr. Roussel, you offer with those changes? Yes. Mr. Roussel offers, Mr. LaFrance seconds. Any questions? Yes, sir. Tony Siblich, CNC Marine. Uh, I've been here all night. I've heard some of the other companies talk to you guys. I'm not in need of a bond. I don't need any money, and I'm not going to promise you anything. I'm just going to tell you what I've done. I moved my small business here for, in 1999. I think I had about 15 employees at the time. I brought, I bought the old sub sea yard when they moved to Lake Charles. A couple of years later, <coughs> Brown and Root property next door to me. When Brown and Root left, I bought Brown and Root. Later on, bean dredging was bought out. They moved to Texas. I bought their facility. A little while later, Versa Bar had some trouble. I bought their facility, leased it to them so they could stay and be financially viable. I've been here for, this is going to be my 25th year in business. And what we're asking to do is my business philosophy is every year to do a slight expansion or do a good expansion because I believe if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And as you can see in the parish, a lot of the facilities here are just getting more and more run down. And if you go on Engineers Road, it's really pretty sad that we're turning into New Orleans with a bunch of the junkyards. So what I have here is my competitors don't pay this tax in Texas. They don't pay this tax in Mississippi. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to build a couple of buildings and I'd like to keep going with my expansions. So that is what I'm asking for because if I don't get the ITEP credit here, I'm not going to build the buildings. And if I don't build the buildings, you don't get the sales tax for the buildings. You don't get 20% and you're not going to get anything because I'm not going to build them. Business is not great. It's COVID time. The only reason I'm building them is I have the financing approved from before and I think I said this to the council two years ago when I was here that I will not build these buildings unless I get this approval so if you'd like me to continue my expansion vote that way and if not I understand I appreciate it any question hey yes mr. blink what's what's the total of the 80 percent reduction in your ad valorem taxes for these particular buildings I don't, I don't know exactly 
Okay, so I mean, you're making a big business decision. You don't you don't even know the cost. It's just an emotional thing. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Last year, <coughs> excuse me. Last year when CNC came up before you all, I came and spoke to you all about the I tip that they wanted. You all turned that one down. School board approved it, and I think that the sheriff's office for something approved. It's not like you're giving away money. This is new money, new construction, new developments for the parish. You have a, a, a proven developer who has been in this parish for years, willing to make the commitments, stand behind things. And if you travel up and down Engineers Road, it's probably the premier facilities down there. I can tell you, I, I spent a couple of days down at the work boat show this past week. I talked to a lot of people. The industry is suffering in the boys' business. They've made a commitment to stay here. I think you all really need to sit down and relook at how you look at your tax credits and what you're giving away. And you're really not giving away anything that you have now. It's when somebody commits to spend more money within the parish, they get a tax break on the future for 10 years. You're still collecting 20% of the dollars of an increase in the value, and ultimately after the 10 years or what, you'll have the full value of that. You're retaining people. The, the whole benefit of all this stuff through the Economic Development Office in Baton Rouge was to provide for economic growth. Use the tools you have at hand. We've, we've watched what you all been doing with the, the pilots, the ITIPs. There's a lot of tools you can do, just like the, the bond issues you're putting through for the no law terminals. These are good deals. I, I know I've heard everybody talk about you don't want to do it. You don't like giving away any money. And you're not giving it away. It's something additional you're getting. And you're getting growth. So I, I really wish you all would reconsider and look at some of this stuff and use these tools that you have in hand. I've watched them for years. I know what they do. Any other questions? Machine's open. Yes. It passes five to three. Item 9N, an ordinance authorizing and directing the parish president or his designee to suspend water payments for six months for residents living in Braithway and Ironton through West Point Lahash, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Mr. LaFrance stepped out, I'll offer. I'd like to offer an amendment to include the Carnarvon Breakway Park area. So all those people in that area that lost their homes went underwater. All right. Make that amendment. Breakway and Carnarvon area? Yes. But the water went under their homes over that area. It's devastated. Okay. We need a second for the actual Two. resolution, um, the actual ordinance. I'll offer it. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Bartholomew. <coughs> I'll offer and add, uh, Mr. Bartholomew seconds the amendment. Any questions? Yeah, I got I got just two two issues. Uh, the first is I think most of us know what Ironton to West Point Lahash is. I'm not really sure what Mr. John said, what the defining boundary is, so it would be nice if we could cut off at a certain street so that we know that's where that is. Braithway Park. You're saying Braithway Park on yeah. the subdivision. Yes. Okay. All right. We'll make sure it's clear that it's Braithway Park. The other thing is, and I don't know what Mr. Um, Mr. LaFrance's intentions are. Uh, it says suspend water payments. That to me means they simply get a forbearance on payment, but that the bill itself is still due. If his intentions is to waive the fee and the charges altogether. Yeah. I think we need to reword this um, in, in, instead of saying to suspend water payments. Because to suspend water payment means the, pay, the, the payments continue to accrue. You're just suspending the time upon which the payment needs to be made. So after the six months, the entire amount would be due. So I think, I think if that's the intention, we'll then leave it as it is. If that's not the intention, then uh, I think we need to amend this to... Uh, uh, to say suspend water billing for six months. I'll, I'll 
You withdraw your second, Mr. Bartholomew? Yeah. I yeah. think you might want to say wave. Yeah, I don't think you want to say just Okay, we'll see. Or you could say wave, you could say the wave the billing if you'd like. I mean, I'll make, I'll offer with those changes. Okay. <coughs> Instead of suspend water payments, wave water payments. Wave water payments or water billing? B billing. Billing. Okay. And I'll offer with those changes in a second. Second. Second by Mr. LaFrance. Point, just to clarify, you say point wave billing. Uh, I don't want it to be any confusion. I think you need to say wave payments. Wave, no. Wave water, char is it called charge or fees? You call it charges or fees? Uh, it, uh, I, I think it's both. It, it can be okay. either one. I'd be. say wave, uh, wave uh, charges and fees. Because if you say payments, that implies it's just the... the bill keeps accruing. Yeah. Okay. Does that include the um the dry, suspend, the trash pickup? I'm sorry, say that again, Ms. Newberry. They put uh I think don't they put like trash pickup? Trash and sewage goes on it too. Is that being waived also? Well, I, I don't water charges I view that as a separate charge. So uh correct. I, I, the way I read this ordinance, if I'm interpreting it's just the water, it's not garbage pickup. I understand the garbage pickup is on the bill, but it says water. We still picking up trash in the Arrington and all, right? So it's up to you, Mr. LaFrance. You got mosquito control too. I would like to wave it. Uh, the people in that area. They are struggling. They are hurting. That area was totally destroyed. Still hasn't been cleaned up yet. People are hurting. So anything that this council, this government can help them with, I truly appreciate it. You want to stop all billing into? Wave it all. So I would say, uh, Wave water and sewage charges and fees, and comma, solid waste and refuse. No, it would be solid waste and solid waste and solid waste mosquito fees. control. Solid waste fees and charges fees. and mosquito control fees and charges. I just. That's that's how I would uh, that's how I would word it, and I would also make clear in the ordinance that um, uh, uh, it's for emergency relief because that gives you um, the justification that many of those persons are currently displaced. They're out of their homes. They're not benefiting from the services, <clears throat> and so I think it needs to. We need to say that uh, due to um, the emergency in those areas. You offer, Mr. LaFrance, with those yes. changes. Mr. LaFrance offers, and I'll second. Any other questions? Can, can we just clarify? It, it, it says, Arrington through West Point Lahash, is that geographically from Arrington to West Point Lahash and everything in between? Is it just the communities of Arrington and just the community of West Point Lahash? Mr. LaFrance. In other words, are you including everybody that lives on Highway 23 between Ironton and West Point Lahash? In Myrtle Grove. And the Myrtle Grove Estates, the subdivision, um, because it's in between? Or are we just clarifying that it's just the community of Ironton and just the community of West Point Lahash? Well, it, I mean, it, it's currently worded in Ironton through West Point Lahash. So that would imply so every, everything in between. That would imply everything in between. They was all flooded and destroyed, so. Which would also include Lake Hermitage, yes. Grand Bayou. The, the, you know, <laughs> ain't got today yet. the other thing I would say, Kim, is that this is titled as an ordinance, but there's a lot of... Okay, so you're going to correct that? Okay. Are we going to have to do an amendment? If this passes, are we going to have to do an amendment to the budget? 
Potentially, yes. I mean, um, I would need to know what was adopted, um, you know, but we wouldn't do that. Yes, we would definitely probably need an amendment, but we wouldn't know that until we gave finance what we're looking at. And then after a month or two of billing, they would then know how much to adjust the budgets. Or I should say the revenue. So they wouldn't know in advance what we're looking at. I mean, we could, but I don't think anyone asked finance or water billing to do that. We, we, we haven't identified the, the, the specific customers that are going to be exempt from charges for six months either. And so we, we were still going through whether it was going to include Lake Hermitage, whether it was going to include Myrtle Grove. Um, it, you know, if it, if it does include all of that, then we'll have to go back and do some research and see how many water customers or how many customers are... Can we, de um, can we defer it while y'all work on all yeah, that? Why, why don't we do this? Why don't we um, defer it? And we could make the effective date back in time. So if you want to make the effective date <coughs> today, you know, an earlier date, that's not a problem. Or we could make it, you know, January 1 when you adopt it at the first meeting in January. Okay, good. We'll defer it to the next uh, January meeting. Nine ends deferred. 9-0, a resolution authorizing the parish president to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with CPRA for the construction of drainage improvement projects on both the East Bank and West Bank of Packham's Parish and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Councilmember Konovich. I'll all fast for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Bartholomew. Any questions to Mr. Helmus? So, yeah, I apologize. I watched the last meeting. I saw the port take a little grief for not having the CEA. Um, I was really consumed with the ferry CEA and some of the Hurricane Ida stuff going on. Essentially what this is, is this is something we've done in the past whereby um, this is required by the Corps uh, for the federal certification purposes. And Mr. John can talk, uh, Mr. Uh, Helmers here can talk a little bit more about that. Um, essentially what CPRA is doing is they're basically giving us the money so we don't have to front the money to help us with cash flow. And then the Corps has identified this as uh, reimbursable uh, as part of our broad agreement with them uh, in terms of uh, building the levees. The project's identified uh, to permanently abandon and plug nine concrete and corrugated metal pipe culverts in order for the system to be in compliance and fully accepted into the federal rehabilitation program. That's what's happening on the East Bank. And then on the West Bank, it's to reslope and redirect existing lateral ditches to collect water and empty into the relocated canals for NOV projects 5A1, 6A1, uh, in 6A2. Uh, the total amount on this is 2.3 million. Uh, 388,000 has been designated uh, for the resloping project, and the other 1.9, uh, well, 1,912,000 uh, has been dedicated by CPRA for the uh, for the uh, uh, the nine culvert um, plugging project. Uh, there's also a corresponding ordinance uh, that finance introduced to appropriate these monies if the CEA passes for the budget. Any questions? Mr. Roussel? Yes, uh, I'm familiar with the coverage under the levee on the East Bank. The ditches and the outfall ditches that are going to be sloped, or are they through Venture Global property, or where are they? They are on the north side of the Myrtle Grove area and down towards Wood, well, Wood Park, uh, right up in that area. It's not through the Venture Global area. So it's not south of Lake Hermitage? No, no, it's on the north side of that. It's, it's not on the Venture Global property. So it goes through the borough pits? Yes. So who identified the ditches that we're going to? CPRA. CPR identified the ditches and how does how, I'd like to see a map to see how that's going to interact with the borough pits. I can get you one. That would be a good idea. Yeah, we, we can forward you a map. It's uh, but as I said, it's the NOV 5A1, 6A1. But that's a project they were just let the other day for 110 million. Now that's 4A. No. So from La Receipt. From La Receipt to Myrtle Grove. No, La, yeah, La Receipt to Myrtle Grove. That's what we're talking about in that area. <laughs> and if you're talking about through the borough pits. It's a little bit south of there at the 5A. 
it comes up six, five, four, three, you know, as it goes. Six is Myrtle Grove. Grove. I mean, is Jesuit Bend? Yeah, five, eight, one is Jesuit Bend. If I recall, right. right. Anyway. Well, and, it been, and I would argue it benefits the entire polder because it's multiple well, I, I, projects. It's not specifically, uh, you know, one property owner. I just wonder how the $88,000 got in there for ditches through the borough pits. That's the 388, that's what, th those were the figures that CPRA estimated they come, that, that they estimated the project would cost. And once again, um, this was determined to be reimbursable and el eligible uh, by the Corps for reimbursement. Uh, and it's, it's uh, like I said, it's fronting us, basically helping us out with our cash flow problems. I understand all that. And, and we've also told CPRA that if the project's, if the projects, once we go to bid, come higher than the amounts appropriated here, that we don't have the money to move forward on this. So um, so that's also something that's written into the agreement. The, the first priority, though, is to plug the pipes. Um, so if, if that bid comes in a little bit over what they're saying, the money will come from that extra 388000 But they did the selection and pretty much picked the... Um, polders and the ditches that needed to be re-sloped. They just kind of added it into our project. I'd like to see a map when you get a chance. I'll send it to you. Any other questions? Machine's open. Yes. Passes 9-0. Item 9Q, in order to amend the five-year capital improvements plan, resloping ditches West Bank project and plugging culverts East Bank and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Council Member Bartholomew. Offer. Mr. Bartholomew offers. May a second? I'll second. Any questions? Machines are open. Yes. This is appropriate. You wanted to do that. <coughs> Item 10, approval of the minutes from the November 4th, 2021 regular meeting, the November 15th, 2021 PPG proposed 2022 budget meeting, and the November 15th, 2021 special meeting. I'll all fast for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Bartholomew. Machines are open. Yes. Pass 9-0. I want to remind the council members that Mr. Tuesday um, has invited you all over to his office after the meeting if you'd like to stop in and visit. What time does the ferry stop running? What time you stop in the ferry? Uh, ferry, is that what you have? Yep. Eight o'clock, Mr. I believe. Eight thirty. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'd like to defer items F, H, and J under my name. F, H. Eight party at Mr. John's house. I defer, I defer a D. I name under discussion. I'm going to defer B. Defer mine as well. Defer G. Defer G. <laughs> Does anybody want to do this? Yeah, I do. Mr. Gooey. Okay. K. Oh. I would like to talk about the Empire Bridge to find out when that's going to be fixed. Item 11K, discussion regarding redistricting public meeting. Council Member Gooey. Um, I've had discussions and, and e exchanged emails with several council members regarding uh, public hearings for redistricting. And um, we have dates just as suggestions, and they're, they're uh, up for discussion. Um, a meeting in Buras, Tuesday, January 4th at 6 p.m., which will not be broadcast. Uh, meeting in Bell Chase, Thursday, January 13th um, at 6 p.m. following the council meeting. We did that for, um, because we knew Danny would be in town already. In Point Lahash on a Saturday, January 15th at 11. So these are something to start and, and discuss um, as far as the content. Uh, we thought that maybe we would discuss the census numbers, the government's requirements regarding uh, redistricting, um, suggested new district lines. There would be a comment period by the public. And uh, so at, 
given the mood of everyone now, this may not be something we want to extensively discuss, but Danny, if you want to make any brief comments, we'd appreciate it. He didn't even hear you. I know. Nobody listened to me. He was talking I did. I did. I did. I know, I'm just talking about the meetings for the map change. If you want to have any input on the meetings, or Danny, we just said we had tentative dates, right? The, tentative uh, what to discuss. He's read them already. Yeah, we kind of sit around and take the list of tentative dates that we have as far as Tuesday, January 4th, that in Europe. He's read them. He's read them. He, he read them all. Yeah, that's up to the He's nine of just, us to decide if you feel those are good dates and good times. I know John felt that the, the Saturday was the yeah. best for him, and Hobo felt that the, uh, the Buress thing would, would be good. <laughs> Do we want to try to have it after the meeting in Belchase on the 13th? Um, if it's at 6, you know, we kind of like the council meeting from 3 to 6. Uh, can we do that? Yeah. Can we really do that? So. And it's basically going to be a kind of a primer on what the what the rules are, because a lot of people think you can just draw those lines wherever you want, and uh, you know, and kind of you know where we were, and we can have we can even have available sort of draft maps that'll show people kind of what the districts look like now compared to what they might look like under one of those other proposals. <coughs> well, Mr. Blink wanted, but who he's going to ask the question to? They all left, so you want to. Defer that one too. No, I just for the record, though, I do want to point out that the gearbox is somewhere, um, but the arm isn't in place. Would be nice to get some cooperation from the administration. Get a little. I mean, if they got something, then fix it. Um, bridge. Yeah, on the Empire Bridge. It's been out since the last weekend of August from the hurricane. Mm -hmm. That's it. And the lighting in front of South Plas Plaquemines High School, there's a fatality. <coughs> We've asked Energy to put lights up there. Um, so far, the lights are still out. There's one light that just needs to be repaired. You know, there's issues all over from the hurricane, but it would be nice to see little action over there if somebody else gets killed. Uh, I read something uh, on an update that uh, they're waiting on the fixtures to come in. Yeah. Energy. And you saw last night what we went through. Yeah, need to add the, uh, the AC at Percy Griffin Community Center. The status of that. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Offered. Offered by Blink, second by Roussel. Machine's open. Yes. Did we miss him or something? Yeah. Sir. Passes 9 0. No. Did we miss you on the agenda somewhere? Okay. All right. Let the record show we adjourned at 6.55 p.m.